Welcome to Queen's University of Charlotte. And here you have the world's largest standing lion sculpture. I think his name's Rex. Yep, that's his name, Rex. Looks ferocious, doesn't he? That's a big statue. See if we can see the whole thing. I like the detail of the mane around it. Queens University here in Charlotte, right on the outskirts of it. It's about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes away from uh, the city center. Right there is Dickinson Field. Behind there is Dickinson Field to that building. And that is where the Queens University of Charlotte play. Their nickname is the Royals. Now, something really interesting happened while I was doing research for this video. Uh, they announced that they're moving up to Division One. So, yeah. So, when I started doing research, they were Division Two, But, come next year, they will be a Division One school. Looks like there's their practice field over there to the left. And the stadium is just right around this corner. You can see my truck over there. Let's walk around and get a, uh, a nice shot of the stadium. Dickinson Field here. Yep, there you go right there. Oh no, what is that? Yep, there's tickets you can get right there. You walk right in to get the tickets. That's cool, you actually walk inside to get the tickets. And there's concessions. You can see the field through the doors the other way. There's a big sign that says Women's Lacrosse Championships. I don't know if that's coming up or if it's that's, if that already happened, but yeah, it looks like the Women's Lacrosse Championships was held here. Let's go over here real quick to the practice field. Save the good stuff for last, the actual field. Got the practice field over here. Yeah, it was raining earlier. It looks like some of the rain may have knocked some of this orange guardrail down. Some stands for people to sit and chill while everyone practices. I'm sure that makes the players happy. Sitting and watching uh, everybody chill while they're working hard. There's a scoreboard right over there. Let's see here. But right there you can see on the left it, I don't know if you guys can see it but on the left it says Royals and on the right it says guest let's walk up to this gate see what the stadium looks like on the left side the real shot you get is on the right side yeah because there's like a hill in the way here there you go though you can see the other the other building on the other side right over there Right there. Yeah, you can't walk around. The fence blocks you off here, but let's see if we can get a, a shot down here. So, so some interesting facts about, let's start with the women first, ladies first, obviously. Um, so the women, like the men, they competed in Division Two, and as far as conference regular season titles go, there's the field right there. Oh, looks like there's a sidewalk. Maybe you can walk around. We'll check that out later. Oh, there's even a path right behind here. I'll go check that out in a little bit. Oh, look, there's the lacrosse nets. Yeah, for the lacrosse championships. It's lacrosse season. So anyways, some interesting facts about the women's team. They've won six regular season titles. 95, 96, 97, 98, 06, and 08. As far as conference tourney title goes, they've won three, 95, 96, and 07. Looks like they had a real good program back in the mid to late 90s. They've had three NCAA tournament appearances in 07, 17, and 2021. Just last year, they made it for the third time. And as far as most wins in a season, they've had 14. 
Uh, they did that twice back in 1996 and in 2006. So, and here's actually something interesting I found out about them when I was doing research on their program. Uh, back in 2006, they tied for the most wins. Uh, that was obviously the most wins in their program history with 14, but they didn't go to the NCAA tournament but strangely enough, the very next year in 2007, they went seven, 11, and four, and they qualified for the tournament. So, it looks like, yeah, they won the conference tournament back in 2007, so they would have gotten the automatic bid then, and they lost in the very first round to Columbus State of Georgia 5-0. So, that was something very interesting I found out about them. But then last year, when they qualified for the tournament, they, uh, they beat the University of Northern Georgia 2-1 in round in the first round, but then lost to Lenore Ryan University 2-0. And that was last year. So hopefully the women's team can carry the success into the 2022 fall season. Alrighty. So here we can get a good good shot at Dickinson Field. Now one of the great things about uh, Queens University is their logo. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's about as close as I can get here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's this lion with a, a crown on top of it. Maybe it's a lioness. But there it is, down there right below, it says Dickinson Field. Yeah, so they, they play with the field turf, they share the stadium with the lacrosse team. I like it too, it's surrounded by all forests, just trees on either side. Nice quaint little classy field, let's walk around and see if we can get a better shot. I think that's where the players come out. I think that's where the uh, the locker room is. What's really neat too is right here along the stands right in front of them, there is a hill. It's built right into the hill. So if you want to, you can come chill on the hill and watch the game too. Where I live up in, uh, up in Metro Detroit, a little bit north of Metro Detroit, Oakland University has one too. They have stadiums built on top of a hill and you can go, go chill on the hill and watch the game. I know some stadiums around the world are like that too. There's a little sidewalk that you can walk, wind your way around. Oh, right onto the field too. I wonder if we could find an opening. Maybe get on the field like we did at Greensboro the other day. I doubt it, but you never know. So a little bit about the men's team. The most wins that they ever had was 16 back in 2013. The next closest that they ever had in a single season was 11 in 2019. So they really struck gold back in 2013. Uh, as far as conference regular season titles goes, they have a dearth of them, 14. They won them in 95, 96, 97, 99, all the way to 2006. They won, what was that, seven, eight, eight conference titles in a row back in the, uh, from 99 to 2006. They also won it in 2013 and they were co-champs in 2018 and 2019. Uh, conference tourney titles, they won them in 95, 96, 97, three years in a row. And then in 99, 01 and 2013. So actually, amongst all of those uh, regular season titles between 99 and 06, they were only able to win two of the conference tourney titles. 
probably really shot him in the foot making the NCAA peer, or making the NCAA tournament those eight years, seven, eight years. Now, as far as the NCAA tournament appearances go, here we go. There's a little, little space between everything. You can see all the, the practice. There's the soccer nets. Those are probably the game ones because those look pretty legit. Some more stands. I don't know what those are for. Oh, and some trash right in front of my face. So as far as the NCAA tournament appearances go, they made it in eight times. 99, 02, 04, 06, 07, 2013, 2018, and 2019, and I was right. It ended up those seven years in a row that they made the tournament, eight years in a row. Yeah, it's eight. Eight years in a row, they made the tournament four times. So half the time that they won their regular season title, they didn't even make the tournament. So kind of a quirky, quirky thing in college that if you win your conference uh, regular season title doesn't mean that you automatically go you still have to win the conference tourney which is just a couple games so you know here we go this is the best shot right here actually let's put the camera through here a little extension on it there's a lacrosse net there's a soccer net not much care has been taken to it <laughs> okay. that's where all the fans sit right over there they sit on the hill like I said a nice quaint little stadium I like this stadium this is nice and soon to be home to a division one team now we'll have two division one teams in the city of Charlotte we'll have Queens University and the Charlotte 49ers, who I'm going to be go visiting in a little while here. So we'll have a nice little Charlotte Derby coming up in the next couple of years. Hopefully they start scheduling each other. That'll be cool. All right. Just want to tell you guys a little bit about some tournament history of the men's team. So they, uh, back in 1999... I'm pretty sure this was their first tournament win. They made the tournament, and they beat Wingate 2-0. Uh, Wingate, who I think is right outside of Charlotte, too. Because uh, a Google search almost took me there. And... All right. So also back in... So then in 2006, they made it again. And they beat Lander University on PKs. The game finished nil-nil. The game finished nil-nil, and they actually won 2-1 on PK, so it looks like not a good game or PKs. Uh, they also beat Limestone 2-1, and that was their last win in regulation back in 2006 in the NCAA tournament. They then lost to West Florida 2-0, but uh, they won in 2019 against Lee University of Tennessee, but that game finished 1-1 and went to PK. So their last NCAA tournament win technically was in 2006 against Limestone. So it's been a while since the men's program has experienced some success. Maybe they'll be able to find it in Division One. You never know. 